What if I told you that your slow metabolism can actually be increased with simple daily habits? I'm 5'3 and I maintain my weight at around 2300 calories because of these exact strategies that I'm about to show you. Here are 11 science-backed hacks that boost your calorie burn and speed up your metabolism. Number one is green tea. Harvard Medical School shows that drinking around three cups of green tea can boost your daily calorie burn up to 100 calories, which is huge considering you're not changing anything else. Green tea has also been shown to reduce hunger and increase fat oxidation, meaning that just by having more green tea throughout your day, you can increase your calorie and fat burn. If you're not already boiling a pot of water, what are you doing? You can either drink more green tea daily or take a supplement, which is EGCG which is the main active ingredient in the green tea and the one that gives you those metabolism boosting benefits. Number two is eating more complex carbs. The biggest lie that we've been told is that carbs are bad and we should avoid them if we want to lose weight. Science says the opposite. It's not the carbs itself, but choosing the right ones. Literally just your food selection can help you lose weight easier. Whole grains like brown rice and oats are high in fiber, which slows your digestion down. That means that your body works harder to break them down. And in that digesting process, you burn more calories. And because they digest slower, you stay fuller for longer. So you're not hungry 20 minutes after finishing your meal. For example, if you swap your white rice for quinoa, your body burns about 10 to 25 more calories just digesting it thanks to the fiber and protein contained in quinoa. And this might seem small, but think about if you make the switch daily. So try to switch simple carbs to complex carbs. Instead of white bread and tortillas, just switch to whole grain. Swap cereal for oats, chips for popcorn. Instead of granola bars, have fruits. And instead of white rice, have brown rice, quinoa or buckwheat. Number three is walking. Walking is actually one of the most science-backed ways to boost your metabolism. Simply because when you move more, you burn more calories. We all know that, but a lot of people underestimate how big of an effect walking can have on your daily calorie burn. If you go from 4,000 steps to 10,000 steps a day, that's an additional of 150 to 300 calories burned daily without even working out or having to eat less. And what I personally think is so great about walking is how effortless and low impact it is. You don't need a lot of energy or motivation to go for a walk. It's not like a run or a workout that you have to get yourself ready for and most of the time you have to go to a special place to do. You literally can just step out of your house now and go for a walk. It's so accessible. It's the simplest thing you can do, but it has one of the biggest effects on your daily calorie burn. Okay, let's break it down. A thousand steps is 10 minute walk. Let's say right now in your day to day, you get 3000 steps. If you add a 15 minute walk in the morning, that's 1500 steps. Then a 20 minute post-workout walk, 2000 more steps. Park your car farther away from your work and that's thousand extra steps. Take a quick 10 minute after dinner walk, that will also help boost your digestion, that's 1000 more steps, and choose to take stairs instead of elevator, that's 500 more steps. Now you're at 10k or even more steps. All of these little habits you can create to get more steps really add up, and it helps you lose weight effortlessly without even trying. Number five is caffeine. Coffee has been shown to increase your metabolism by 5 to 20%. When you drink caffeine, your heart rate increases slightly, your body temperature warms up, and your body uses more fat for energy. All of this makes you burn more calories even while resting. That's because caffeine is a thermogenic. In one study, already lean subjects that increased their caffeine intake by 1-2 to two cups per day burned an additional 150 calories daily without changing anything else. That is already crazy, but the effect is already stronger if you take it before exercise. Because caffeine increases fat oxidation and how hard you can work during your workout, it helps you burn more calories from the same workout that you would have done if you didn't take caffeine before. So yes, caffeine is a metabolic booster. But before you run off and start chugging 5 cups of coffee daily, I have to warn you. The benefits of it level off. Around 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine per day, which is about one to two cups, is enough to give you that metabolic boost without stressing your body out. Because caffeine can actually block two huge metabolic boosters that I'm gonna talk about later in this video. Number six is lift heavy things. Your body is made up of fat and muscle tissue and muscle burns way more calories than fat. One pound of fat burns about two calories per day, while one pound of muscle burns around six to 10 calories per day. So the more muscle tissue you have, the more calories your body burns all day long. Even when you're not exercising, you're not walking, you're not doing anything. That's why you see so many women who can eat a lot and stay lean. It's because they're lifting weights. 
Strength training works so well because you burn more calories during the workout, you burn calories after the workout because of the afterburn effect, and you increase your resting metabolic rate, which is how many calories your body naturally burns without doing anything. In one study, participant completed a 10-week strength training program that's about two and a half months of working out, and they were able to increase their resting metabolic rate by 7% just from building muscle. So honestly, lifting weights is one of the highest return on investment things you can do to increase your metabolism. Especially for women that feel like their metabolism is slow. Because lifting muscle helps compensate for naturally lower calorie needs, which is something that I've struggled with for the longest time as a short girl. Number seven is cold exposure, and I think it's one of the least talked about ways to boost your calorie burn and increase your metabolism. Cold activates something called brown adipose tissue, or basically brown fat. A special type of fat whose entire job is to burn calories to increase heat. When you expose your body to cold, even mildly, your brown fat kicks in and your metabolism increases to keep you warm. If you remember, when I was talking about caffeine, I was saying how it increases your body temperature and it helps burn more fat, which is exactly why it works. Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist at Stanford, explains that even 60 seconds of cold exposure, which is like ending your shower cold, can activate your brown fat and raise your metabolic rate for hours after that. So if you want an extra metabolic boost, try ending your shower with 30 to 60 seconds of cold water. And if you're crazy, get an ice bath. It may sound stupid, but there's actual research behind this. Plus, cold exposure has some really cool cognitive and mental health benefits. Number eight is spend more time in bed. Most people don't realize this, but sleep has a huge impact on your metabolism. Not sleeping enough literally slows it down. One study showed that just four to five nights of poor sleep reduce your metabolism by two to eight percent. Meaning that even if your diet and training stays the same, you burn fewer calories. Think about it like this. Your body burns most fat at night. So if you don't get enough sleep, you're simply not burning as much as you could. So aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night. It will not only boost your metabolism and increase your body's ability to burn fat, but also also stabilize your hunger hormones so you feel less hungry throughout the day. Number one is eat more. The crucial thing about metabolism is that it adapts. That's why when you lose weight, you hit a plateau at some point and you have to keep decreasing your calories to keep losing weight. Because over time, your body adjusts by burning less calories throughout the day. For example, let's say your maintenance is around 1900 and you decide to eat at 1200 calories to lose weight, which is by the way, very extreme and not recommended. For the first few weeks, you will lose weight, but eventually your metabolism will adapt to that number. So you'll be eating at 1200 calories and plateauing. That number basically becomes your new maintenance. So to keep losing weight, you either have to increase your activity or decrease your calories, which is very extreme. But the thing is, just like you can slow down your metabolism by eating less, you can actually speed it up by eating more. When you slowly increase your calories back towards your original maintenance, your metabolism increases as well. One of the most famous studies on metabolism, the Minnesota starvation experiment, showed that extreme calorie restriction slowed people's metabolism down by 20 to 40 percent, and their metabolisms only recovered once they started eating more again. I made a separate video on this topic, but here's a quick guide to boosting your metabolism by eating more. Number one, gradually increase your intake with whole foods. Protein, complex carbs, fruits, healthy fats, and veggies. The key word here is gradual and slow. And number two, it works best with paired with strength training because it helps you use that extra food to build muscle, which increases your metabolism more. Number 10 is HIIT. When you do high intensity interval training, things like sprint intervals or cycling, your body burns extra calories for hours after the workout, not just during it. In a study on fit young women, researchers had them doing interval sprints, where they performed 30 seconds all out sprints on a treadmill, followed by one minute rest, and they repeated it 20 times. After this session, their metabolism increased by 10% for up to 14 hours post exercise. Now, 10% might sound small, but for an average woman, that can look like extra burn of 100 to 120 calories per day. And if you feel like you're always low on time and don't have hours to spend at the gym, HIIT might be the best cardio option for you. Because a 30 minute HIIT session has been shown to burn 100 extra calories than a 30 minute steady state cardio session. And that's without considering the fact that HIIT burns more calories even after the exercise. So adding one to two sessions of HIIT per week can slightly boost your metabolism. Just avoid overdoing it so it doesn't impact your recovery. Number 11 is manage your stress. 
and I kept the most important for the last. I think by now we all know that high levels of stress are bad for weight loss, but we don't realize how bad it really is. In one study, women that experienced high stress the day before burned 100 fewer calories after a meal than non-stressed women. Think of your metabolism like a phone battery. When you're stressed, your body switches into low power mode. It burns fewer calories so you can save energy. So a good start to boosting your metabolism and also just improving your happiness can be managing your stress. And with the theme of this video, here's some science-backed ways to decrease your cortisol. Go for a 10 to 20 minute walk because light movement lowers cortisol immediately. Practice slow breathing. It activates your body's parasympathetic nervous system that makes you calmer. Prioritize seven to nine hours of sleep. Eat regular meals with protein, complex carbs, healthy fats, veggies, and fruits. Strength training two to four times per week. Get morning sunlight. You can do that on your walk. Take magnesium. Supports nervous system and reduces cortisol levels. Practice meditation. Even five to 10 minutes can measurably lower your cortisol. Laugh or talk to someone you love. Social connection releases oxytocin, which naturally reduces cortisol. Number four is eating more protein. You see, eating a higher protein diet helps you burn more calories, even while you're sleeping. In one study, a higher calorie diet increased calories burned by 260 per day. That's because when you eat protein, your body has to work harder to break it down. It's slower digesting. So when you eat 100 calories of protein, your body burns 30 calories in the digesting process, meaning you only absorb 70 calories from that 100. But when you eat 100 calories of carbs, you absorb about 90 calories. And when you eat 100 calories of fat, you absorb all 100. So if you want a simple metabolic boost, aim for 25 to 30 grams of protein each meal. And to make it easy, make protein an anchor of every meal. Screenshot this list of best lean protein options and keep it in mind next time you're grocery shopping. So these are 11 science-backed ways to boost your metabolism and help you lose weight. And if you like content on sustainable weight loss like this, I would really appreciate if you support me by subscribing, liking, and sharing it with a friend. I'll see you soon.